Hello out there, and we're here today in the warm summer winter of Florida to share a, uh, a new knife mod with you. And what we have in front of us is the Kershaw Leak. So any of you who watched the last video and were in suspense as to what knife parts were in that little baggie, uh, they were these. They were these parts for a Kershaw Leak. And a lot of you might not know this, but my earliest mods, a lot of the mods that I did at the start were all Kershaw Leaks. I really liked working on the model. Um, my third video ever actually was about the Tiger Stripe Acid Etch I did on a leak once. And there were a number of these that I did and just put random patterns on them and then sold them on eBay and tried to see if I could make any money from it. Um, I couldn't. But, uh, but yeah, it was cool. It was a lot of fun to do. And so this was a, a neat model to return to. Now, the results on this worked out pretty well, and I'll get into all those. But this knife and this, uh, this job, I guess you'd call it, um, got bogged down a lot just in the concept phase. Some of the ideas that I had, I didn't really think through before I started trying to execute them and there were a number of pitfalls and, and obstacles that I had to overcome and that's what you'll see all the time in my mods is that you know uh, you come across something that that just doesn't work or there's a variable that I just don't control as well as I, I think I could and yeah and then you just have to adjust and and make it work and so we're going to talk about all that go through some of the stuff that I did and this mod, by the way, is for my buddy, the Lawn Ranger, really good supporter of the channel, a guy that uh, that I've dealt knives uh, back and forth to and from in the past and, and hopefully have a long future of that. Sending him a couple lanyards as well, so uh, here, you can check those out if you're watching, bud. But anyway, so getting back into the knife, what we have is an acid stone wash and then uh, obviously you can see another acid etch and the anno on the frame polished hardware very basic and the the pattern that I was going for I guess starting here would be the best way to uh, to really look at it the pattern I was going for was a lot of that like scaly pattern that I've been doing a lot of lately but I wanted it to trail off and then go from like small little scales to larger ones and have that carry over onto the blade large scales to small ones to, tr to trailing off and you can probably see a little bit of that underneath the uh, the aggressive stone wash. And I'll talk about that stone wash in just a minute. But uh, the reason that um, you can't see it all that well is that eventually the decision I made was to make an intentionally uh, very heavy stone wash on the knife and make it one of those things where from afar you can see that something's been done and you can see that there's some kind of like work done but then you can only really see the depth of it all when you get up close and one of the main reasons for that is that the lines just weren't that good the lines on the blade just weren't that good I mean from from here looking at the frame you can see they're pretty clean and you can see each shape nicely uh, same thing on the other side with like where it connects on the clip to the rest of the frame I think the lights catching it pretty well right there how those lines actually like connect you know from the clip to the frame so all that was a uh, was pretty darn good but on the blade itself I would just had the same trouble that I had on some some previous mods the ones I actually did for a uh, for everyday city carry if you follow him um, there are just a couple gaps in the lines and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't figure out what it was that that I wasn't doing right that wasn't letting the acid get in so so what I tried to do then in lieu of just have that really clean look that I knew I wasn't going to be able to achieve was like I said I put this stone wash on it and made it so that when you see it in the right light let me see if I can get it on camera when you see it in the right light at the right angle you can see all those shapes pop out and you can see how everything sort of connects together and it sort of adds just like this extra dimension that you know just looking at it from here you won't get so in the end I think it's sort of a cool thing not really what I was going for but uh, yeah it is a, a a pretty cool thing now with the clip I just acid stone washed the clip and um, you know did the dual layers on that um, anytime you're doing something like this though you know you have a reversible clip if you're gonna reverse it then that whole pattern structure looks really really odd so it would still be fine if you chose to reverse it because the, the etch is actually continued underneath the clip. 
uh, on the frame, so I mean it would still look okay, but it would be a little bit weird with that being on this side. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, the, um, the Anno. I wanted to put in a little bit of color. I uh, always like going with bronze, and so what I did, the way that uh, I got this was after the dual layer acid etch, I just uh, polished, basically sanded down the whole, uh, the whole frame and both the scales, and then etched from there, I'm sorry, anode from there, and yeah, really happy with that. The big pitfall there, and it's something that I'd never done with a leak before, and, and so you know, it, it was a big struggle was the fact that this uh, show side scale here is not the same um, thickness all the way through because we have the cutout for the speed safe mechanism. And so what you have when you're adding heat to something that uh, essentially isn't the same size is you're going to have the, the parts uh, changing color rapidly in different spots. So the scale uh, has that cutout that starts right around here and goes all the way to like around where the pivot is and so uh, that turned color really quickly and the rest of it didn't and so I actually had to to anno it, remove it, anno it, remove it. It took me a few tries to actually get it where it was somewhat even bronze because this would just keep getting, excuse me, this would keep getting patchy like blue and purple and just looked weird. So eventually I settled on a couple things that I liked. Hopefully, hopefully uh, the Lawn Ranger really likes this one and, uh, and enjoys it. And definitely a, uh, a good way to get back to doing a leak because it's been a while and certainly a lot of uh, stuff to learn coming out of this. But yeah, I'll try to give you one more shot of the blade and maybe in the right light you can see that pattern that's just sort of poking its head through and how it comes up and then connects to the, the frame. Alright guys, so that's what we have here. New mod, a whole lot more new stuff on the way. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw my Instagram post from the other day, but CRKT actually uh, released like almost all of their 2018 line already so I've got a couple new knives on the way there and a bunch of other stuff we'll be talking about so any questions comments complaints suggestions let me know down below um, I'll be talking with you real soon and have a good one